guys i know it's been a while but i am back for a review i have loved physician formulas foundations since a while back i've done reviews in the past of their foundations but the one thing is they had the worst variety out of all the cosmetic brands when it came to shades they only they'd only have like three or four shades all of them catered to lighter skinned people i was really excited to go into rite aid and see that they had new foundation and it varied in complexions from fair to dark it's called the healthy foundation spf 20 brightening complex it picked up two shades they had a really great deal where it was buy one get one free and there was a three dollar off coupon attached to it and it retailed for fifteen dollars wow. I hope this is a pump. So it says here that it's a brightening complex for all skin types, packed with vitamins and antioxidants, infused with Chinese wujuyu extract and hyaluronic acid to brighten, hydrate, and even skin tone. Lightweight, buildable, and breathable. What? I don't think it's supposed to do that. Oh, it's a twist cap. Okay. I see. This looks like that Clinique foundation. The directions just say to shake well before applying. So let's take a look at my skin. I don't have too much hyperpigmentation, but I did randomly just get this red dot on my face. I don't know what it is. And a little dark circles underneath my eyes. And I typically don't use concealer, so I'm gonna kind of just use this as an all-in-one and my skin is oily combo so I'm gonna be using a setting powder let's just get right into it oh shoot did I shake it well we're just gonna do the right side first it's blending really well why does this smell like sweet dough to me it's not the most pleasant scent, but not too unpleasant to the point where I want to wipe it off my face. But I like it so far. I guess a true test is on this side because this is where I have my red little dot. I don't really like this kind of applicator. I like that. Look how well that vanished. You could still see your skin underneath the foundation but it's just blended so this really seems to be more of a light coverage at first I'm gonna put a little bit more on I would say it's more of a light to medium coverage it has a satin finish but I am going to set some setting powder around my t-zone and underneath my cheeks because that's usually where i get oily all right so i'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and i'll be right back looks like i may not have even needed the powder you could tell there's makeup on but it's not cakey and it just like it blends well i we have to do the flash photo test can't even see my face <laughs> the flash is so bright oh that's much better it looks good oh my gosh it looks really good so I'm really enjoying this so far I like the consistency of it I like how easy it was to apply I would have preferred a pump why did they have to do that one thing it feels very comfortable on my skin it has a nice finish to it it does look quite healthy so we'll see how this goes it's actually pretty late in the day <laughs> i'll wear this through evening it is 1 19 in the afternoon so i will check back in a couple hours it is now 8 16 in the evening for seven hours this actually looks pretty good this is like like a full day at school the tip of my nose it rubbed off i think it was when juliana was touching my face and the red is peeking through my little red dot on my face i'm gonna go in the toilet thanks for the announcement i am getting quite shiny around my shiny areas yeah, there's a little bit of transfer so I'm gonna wear this for at least yeah, another two hours. Done. Is done. I heard. And then I'll update you with my Wait. final thoughts. 
is 10 30 as you can see with my blush and my bronzer clearly on it held up pretty well the pros i like how easy it was to apply how blendable it was and it basically just made me have a very nice smooth complexion right from the get-go i like that it has spf and that it is flash friendly i like how physicians formula now have a variety of shades i think the price point ain't too bad for a drugstore it's a little up there $15 but it's worth it and it's not too heavy especially for me I don't need full full coverage so I like that it's more on the light to medium natural end and as for lasting power it did stay on all day uh, a little oily for my liking but that's okay I think it's something very manageable for cons I am not feeling this wand I just much prefer a pump. It's not the best smelling in the world. All physicians formula kind of have that kind of scent. And I think that's the only cons. It's not too bad. So that's my first impression of the new physicians formula foundation. Comment below your thoughts if you have tried this. And of course, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below as well. And don't forget to check out my other channels. It's Judy's Life where I vlog six days a week. And it's Mommy's Life where I do mommy related stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.